What's going on here? Like, why why the KKK talk? You get no coochie from me. You get no coochie from me. They just call me a nigger. I'm not even gonna sit here and act like I can whoop your ass. It's too stunned to speak. Hey y'all, so it's your girl Kai and I'm back with another video. As you can see by the title of today's video, it's going to be a story time, but it's also going to be a get ready with me, which is why I'm standing in the bathroom in my robe. Because I'm about to go out tonight. Now you're probably thinking like, damn girl, you look, you look a fucking mess. But like, it's fine because we're about to get ready, so it's okay. Um, I was out earlier, I've already like, did everything i just need to get dressed and you know touch up put a little more makeup on the legs you know stuff like that but um basically today's story time which y'all are here for i know is basically three stories in one it's in my notebook last night but it's fine um so it's three stories of like my worst share ride lift experiences here since i've been in um my college time because this is where I've been getting share rides. I'm about to get a car, prayerfully. But um, I be having to, you know, catch that lift from time to time when I don't be catching a bus, which is fine because, you know, you do what you do when you do it, you know? Like, ain't no shame with my game, girl. I can run that bus quick. So, um, I'm gonna put my clothes on and I'll come back so we could. And then we can get into the story. One second. All right, I'm back. I have on this. In case anybody's interested, which I know y'all don't really care about this kind of thing. I have on this. Great. I'll show y'all. Believe it, y'all. We can get to story right now. But okay, so basically, like I said, it's three stories wrapped up into one. So the first story that we're going to talk about is. Damn, which one I want to go first? So all of these stories, before I even get into like specifics, all of these stories took place like relatively recent, like within the last two weeks, all three of these experiences have happened. Keep that in mind. But okay, we're gonna start with, basically this, it was this um, Indian man. He was Indian, I'm not stereotyping. And basically how that experience went. Cause I don't want to like tell y'all. Cause if I tell y'all, I'm gonna be telling y'all without telling y'all. So I'm just how this is the Indian man story, right? Okay, cool. Um, I don't want to give him a name, but we're just gonna say Mr. Driver, sir. Or whatever I decide to call him child. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So um I was catching this lift in particular this day, which this was like, y'all, I'm gonna pull up, pull up the receipts. I'm gonna put them right here, like what day it was. It was like the past couple days. I want to say it was Wednesday. Today is Saturday. I want to say it was Wednesday because I wanted to go get my nails and my toes done because that's like my day off from school or whatever. Right? Okay, cool. So this past Wednesday, I caught a lift to go, you know, get my nails and my toes done because you know certain places the buses take you but they don't take you all the way there i just didn't feel like dealing with it so i was like okay we'll catch this lift real quick i caught the lift there now um i was about to say he was my lift driver back but no he was my lift driver there so i caught a lift the first lift i caught was to get my nails done my nail appointment and my getting my toes done were at two different places so I called a lift to go get my nails done. No problem there. Got off the lift, got my service from the woman. Um, these are how my nails look. Um, that's another story for another time, child. But um, got my services and I'm leaving, right? To go get my toes done next. So I'm catching the lift to go get my toes done. So I scared a lift or whatever, the man comes to pick me up. No problem, nothing nothing crazy, right? Nothing crazy, this is normal stuff. This is the process. So um, as he comes to pick me up, 
he comes to like i'm in this plaza basically right so like i'm on the phone i'm like hey um are you having trouble finding a place because me and my lift driver who took me there to the um the nail lady she was having we were having a little difficulty finding a place so i'm gonna call him like make sure you know kind of inconvenience to him make sure he's not lost like you know doing my duty as the person receiving the services right you know trying to be good Samaritan or whatever so he's like basically like he just pulled in after he thinks he sees me or whatever i saw him to the license plate before i get in you know take the precautions take the precautions i get in no problem y'all i get in and I'm sitting in the back seat, obviously. I'm not sitting in the front seat with, with them. But I get in the back seat and I'm sitting in the seat that's diagonal across, diagonal from the driver's side. So basically, I can look at the driver and he can look at me. I'm not directly behind him, basically what I'm trying to say. So this is, this is where I'm sitting in every scenario. Keep that in mind. So, um... What was I saying? I almost wondering thought. Oh, okay. So immediately when I get in, y'all, I look at this man because, like, you know, why wouldn't you look at your lift driver? You want to know what they look like. I look at this man. Look, there is a patch. A patch of hair missing in the back right here. Right? We're not gonna talk about that too much because you know it could have been a number of things. Could have been medical conditions, could have been alopecia, could have been anything. Like, you know could have been anything but that's just my first observation getting in so i'm just like damn he's missing hair like what the fuck and it wasn't like style with it like it was like like you would tell like he he didn't cut his hair like that basically and if he did that was a sick fucking joke right but so that's that's my first you know observation of this man right not thinking nothing too crazy about it. i'm just like oh you know that's his fucking business a little odd but like you know, it could be a number of things. Just because I don't have fucking bald spots in my head, I don't mean nothing. I don't have a bald spot or two wearing wigs, hell, right? So um, as for writing, like the first couple minutes are just like he's playing some um. I could tell it's like music, maybe like Indian music. It's not like, it doesn't have any lyrics, just the instrumental basically. So it's giving me Bollywood vibe, you know? I done heard a little bit of Bollywood, something, something, you know, on the social medias and stuff. So I'm like, oh, it's giving Bollywood. Like, you know, I could get down with this. Like, you know, he ain't playing nothing crazy. Just do, do you boo, right? So he's playing his music. I'm in my phone. And when I mean I'm in my phone, like I'm on the lift app watching the map making sure he's not making no wrong turns because that's just how i do it because you gotta stay on the toes child people is crazy so that's just what i that's you know that's just the vibes and everything's perfectly fine nothing wrong with that right so i keep on that it was like two minutes two minutes a whole one and 20 seconds and then um and then he starts like talking to me like ha having a conversation and I'm not thinking nothing of it crazy because I'm just like, maybe he's don't like awkward silence. Maybe he's a talker. Like, you know, me getting in these lists from time to time, like I know this is different people like different things, which is fine with me because child, like we could talk, we could don't talk. I don't really care either way. At the moment, I had like my headphones in because I was like, you know, just listening to my music. So I wasn't really in a talking and mood, but like if you're talking to me, I'm not going to be a, a rude ass, you know? So... Um, he's talking and I'm just like, you know, I'm like, I mean, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know exactly what he was saying initially, but I was just like, oh yeah, yeah. Like, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, mm -hmm. that little laugh when you're just like, yeah. shut the fuck up now. Kind of like that. But I didn't say that, of course. So he's talking and I'm like, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, no, totally. Like, I understand or whatever, you know, cold switching and whatnot. He's like keeps talking keep talking basically so i'm like okay let me turn my music off my airpods or my earbuds or whatever they're not real airpods but it's fine and um let me actually like pay him some attention because you know the ride ain't but so long child i could spare some time so that's what i did i turned my music off on my phone and um I'm lying, y'all. Okay, so when I first got in, I was I was listening to music, but by the time he like started talking, I had called my mom. Right? Because most of the time when I get in lifts or something, I try to call my people so they know like I'm in the lift in case, you know, something goes down. 
anything, you know, could happen or whatever. So I try to call them so they know like, oh, well, she wasn't at school or nothing. So, you know, whatever, right? Whatever, whatever. Um, yeah, so I was on the phone with my mom when he started talking to me. And so um, I turned her volume down, like off my um, off my phone. I was turning her volume down off of her because she was in the middle of working. So she's on the phone with like her people or whatever, but she's just sitting on the phone with me. So I turned her down. So he's talking, basically what he's saying is just a whole bunch of like, throughout this whole experience, he was just giving me like life lessons and nuggets and whatnot for that kind of thing. So he's talking and then I'm just like, oh yeah, like, no, I completely understand. Like I feel you basically. Like imagine if he was saying like, slow and steady wins the race. And I'm like, oh yeah, I've heard that story before. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like, you know, slow and steady did win the race. I saw that one. Like I heard that one, right? Basically that's kind of like what it was given. So, um, as he's talking or whatever, he was like, yeah, my wife makes made a song about that. Like, let's say we were talking about slow and steady race. Keep, keep that going. He was like, yeah, my, my, my wife made a song about, you know, slow and steady wins the race. So I'm in my head, like, I immediately go to, wow, like his wife makes music. I don't think it's going to be nothing that's like, don't make me cackle. I'm thinking there's something like legit because when the music he was playing when I first got down, I'm like, oh, maybe the little instrumental was like the ending of one of her songs. Maybe he's married to an Indian woman and her shit really popping overseas for real. Like maybe you about to put me on something, right? Learn me something, if you will. So he's like, my music. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'm not asking to hear her music or nothing. I'm just like, oh, okay, she makes music. That's what's up. So he was like, after he said that, he was like, yeah, she had put the song on my playlist and my downloads, but I accidentally deleted it from my downloads. So he said that I'm like, oh yeah, since they deleted the song, like, wow, like, you know, that sucks or whatever. But I'm sure you could get it back when you get back home. She'll put it back on there for you. This is like what I'm saying. And he's like, yeah, like laughing, like, oh, I'm such a klutz or whatever. Like, you know, that kind of thing. He was a nice man. And so um, I'm just like, yeah. And then he was like, but it goes like this. And then he proceeded to sing the song. interesting but um nothing crazy so i'm just like mm -hmm. like yeah I, I hear the message that you i hear slow and steady wants the race and of course you were just thinking yeah like i completely understand like slow and steady wins the race like i heard it like yeah that's the song that's the song so then that's gonna be the end of that so after i said that I'm thinking it's about to be quiet. We're about to get back to our own little thing. He's going to tell me about his wife's music. Maybe, you know, put me on. Try to get her name out there or whatever. But, you know, he's just going to let it go. Because, you know, I'm not really entertaining it. You know what I mean? Wrong, wrong, wrong. So, he proceeds to say another life lesson. Let's say the next life lesson was... Stop it, red lights, child. I don't know. Look both ways when you cross the street. That's what we're going to go with. Let's say the next time this was that. Look both ways when you cross the street. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, I agree. Look both ways when you cross the street. That's the safest thing to do. And he's like, yeah, yeah. He's going more in detail about how you look both ways across before you cross the street. And he's explaining it. And this time the third, and this time the third. And when I first got in and I was on the phone with him, his accent was, like, really heavy. Because, and then we have our mask on. So I couldn't, like, understand everything. But... <laughs> But as I was listening to him more, like it was it was easy for me to understand him. Mind you, when he first started singing the song, when I was um I thought that I was on the phone with my mom, when he started singing, I hung up. Because I'm like, if I look down at this phone and my mom was like cackling, or she look at me and I look at her and I'm in my head already like, dog, what the fuck is going on? I'm gonna bust out laughing. I would hate to laugh in this man's face. So I hang up. Cool. So I'm off home with my mama by the time this next life lesson going. So he talked about life lesson, my life lesson. He was like, yeah, she may talk about this one too. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'm about to actually hear her, you know, beautiful Bollywood style music or whatever. But I'm just like, you know, I didn't really ask for this, but you know, go ahead. You're gonna play it regardless. So he plays the music, y'all. Insert the video. This is it, hooray, hooray. Get into the day, embrace it, seize the day as they born to say, hey, hey, or 
just concentrate. Your discernment will lead you all the way. When you follow your heart, it leads to your mind's clever TV so you can see everything that's in the spiritual, is in the physical as well. When you embody the heaven on earth and everything moves, you're living from your heart and everything grows. This is the Holy Spirit flow. This is what we want to know. Know yourself so you stand in your power so you don't perish. Now get a whole game of shower. When you step up, you get healed. You get the feeling. You get it. Power, activate the gifts and let it all out, let it all be lit. Hey, 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 hey. we're so lit up, get lit. Feel your feelings, get lit. Yeah. Yeah. Not a not an Indian woman, not an ethnic woman. Just a white woman. Just a white woman. Off tune, off key, salt and pepper on a beat. You feel me? Like it was so bad. It was so bad. And you would think that that was the end. But I'm going to speak the story because we got two more. You would think that was the end, but it wasn't. Because after that, he did one more life lesson. Played another song. Right? I think that's the end still. Played that song. Cute song. Let's sit and talk for a moment in time. Let's rewind, hold on, take a breath. Let's center ourselves. <laughs> Was it time for changes? From your inner world and the brightness connected with your meditations when you get your vibration. Not good either the second one was worse but um as what he's ending the second song or whatever we pulling up to my destination for me to get my toes done and i'm like all right have the day or whatever he's like yeah you can hear us talk about more of these life lessons and stuff on our youtube we're called the mysticals like you know mystic cools like mystic cools but cool and i was like okay cool then he shows he puts his phone out he shows me the little um youtube banner thing and i'm like all right my god didn't ask for none of this that was like a funny experience like i laughed about that with my sisters for and my mom for a while but let's get into the more not so funny stuff but we're gonna make it funny anyway because you know we look back and laugh and shit like this so scenario number two we're going to talk about it was okay so i don't know what to call this man we're gonna call him bill we're gonna call him Bill. <gasps> We're not gonna call him Bill. I know a Bill. We're gonna call him Mr. Brown. Mm -hmm. Mr. Brown. So this particular day that I caught the lift, it was because I was going to the hair store, guys. So I had a um a client coming that she wanted me to do her hair, and I was missing a couple of you know things to do hair with. But um, I'm lying like shit. This day I, I went to the hair store was because I was on my own hair. This hairstyle. That's important, y'all. I got I got the I got the receipts to prove it. This the man that was driving me. Yeah. So um, just taking me a quick trip to the hair store. My not that many miles. The hair store right around the corner. Whatever. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I come outside, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. This is what I'm wearing. I'm sending you a video because for reference, this is how I fucking look. You, you, okay, cool. Now let's get into the story. Y'all saw that's, that's what I was wearing, right? I made a video. I didn't make a video because I knew I was going to make a story for somebody. I made a video because I told my mama and about it. So, now, now, now let's get into the bullshit. So, I get in the car and as you can see my thigh tattoo was out basically i think that's what it was but i don't know y'all y'all help me figure it out because i'm still confused myself so i get in the car and he's like you know 
I'm like, hey, how you doing? Good morning. Like, you know, greet people. You know, you get people studying, you want to greet them. I get in, you know, I gotta take license plates, take precautions, take precautions. Mind you, she's pulled up like directly in front of my, my uh, house. Like directly in front. Like there was no other cars in the parking lot. Like you, you could tell like exactly where I came out of. Like it was no hot in it. So that's important. So when I come out, I get in the car, take license plate, whatever, cool, cool. I see some black man. I'm like, oh, my brother. You know, like I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm in good hands. Makes me black for walking around here. But you know, not not for real, for real. Like, oh, I'm safe because it's a black man. Like that wasn't it. But you know, for play, play. So I get in the car. Like, how you doing? Woo, woo, woo. And then he's like, oh, I'm good. Whatever. How you doing? I'm like, I'm good. So um, after like he's backing out of the parking space to like you know drive out of the place and take me to the hair store. He's like, oh, I see you going to the um the beauty supply, beauty supply. And I'm like, yeah, you see, you see me. That's why I'm looking a mess, basically. Like, you know, try to make a joke about it. Like, yeah, you know, I gotta go to the hair store. I ain't not looking all crazy for nothing, kind of thing, right? Humor, humor, friendly humor, banter, if you will. He was like, man, you still look good to me. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, you can't see me if you use the X-ray vision glasses. You can't see me. So I'm just like, after he said that, I'm already like, I'm already, I, I, I can feel the temperature. Like I already, I'm already knowing what's going on, how this, how the rest of this ride about to go, right? So we're talking, I'm like, I'm like, mm -hmm. like, what do you want me to say to that? So as I'm writing, he's like, oh, um, you know, you in college. Mind you, it's been, it has been quiet for a little bit. He was like, you in college? And I'm like, yeah, second year, yeah, in college. Cooling, cooling. He was like, oh, whatever. He's just talking, he was talking it up. Y'all, he starts, he gets to talking about his profession and what he does basically because he um was like, basically telling me that he just moved to the city. He doesn't like it. He's originally from, or he just moved um, he was like he moved to the city that I'm in now and he wants to move to the city that I'm from connecting dots here so I'm like oh I mean like it's not much to do here yeah I feel you like it's small and much to do but like you know it's not that much stuff to do in the other city either like you know I've been at that a little bit he's like oh you from there like where are you from like what side of town I'm like you know I've been all over whatever because like don't try to look for me on my side of town if I go there don't try to look for me, right? You no, know, I've been a little bit everywhere. You know, you know, I dibble and dabble. Like, don't ask for details and specifics. No, it's not that important. So, um, he was like, "Yeah, um, I'll be out there sometimes because you know, basically, he 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 wanted them boat boys. He be on that boat. If you don't know what that is, he merchant seaman. One of those, right? Nothing wrong with merchant seaman. I'm just saying that's what his profession was. So." Um, he's like, yeah, I'll be out there, you know, woo, if I live out there, it'll be close to my job because, you know, I always got to go back out there just to go to work. And I'm like, yeah, that'll be more convenient, da -da -da -woo -woo -woo. like, you know, I feel you, whatever, right? Keeping it short and sweet, but I'm still just like, you know, saying stuff because originally when he first started talking, he was like, um, are you in college and stuff like that? And I'm just like, yeah, I'm looking at my phone while I'm saying, I'm like, yeah, mind you, I'm watching the map, <laughs> always. I'm watching the map. He's, he's like, um, you want to call it? I'm like, yeah. And then it was like quiet. He didn't say I looked up and he's just staring at me through the rearview mirror. So I'm like, the creep. Like, don't ever stare at me with on a, a deeper, more in depth response. You got what you got. Don't stare at me, eyes piercing at me through the damn rearview mirror. Like, I'm supposed to say something else. So I did because I don't want to be in here with no creep. I want you to get me my destination safely. So, um, that's when I started, like, you know, talking. Like, because I think I had answered him a little slow because I was on my phone, but whatever. Cool, right? So, as we're getting close to my destination or whatever, um, he was like, yeah, you know, I'm on that boat. I'm a chef. I make this much and that much a month. I make this much a week. Easy. Like, it ain't nothing. Money ain't never the problem. That's the kind of game he's spitting, right? And I'm just saying, I'm like, cool, cool. Like, what do you want me to say to that? I don't want a piece of that pie. I'm all right. I'm good. Appreciate you. I'm good. Like, 
thank you for your service, but like that, I don't, I don't want none of that. I don't want none of that unk. Mind y'all, it's giving unk. Is it not? Like, even if it wasn't, it's just like, it's just not the time. It's not the time for all that. Like, you're doing too much. Especially you want to tell me I look good. You can't even see me. You're just a liar. Like, I'm already, like, disgusted at this point. Because, like, you're just doing too much. You're trying to fight. You want to get in these. You're trying to get down below. And you're not. You're not. You get no coochie from me. You get no coochie from me. Right? So, basically, he make, like, a, he goes, like, the longest way possible to get me to my freaking destination. Mind y'all, it was only, like, a mile, like, a one and a half miles to get to my destination. He takes, like, the longest fucking way possible. Um, I get there, right? And, you know, we end the conversation or whatever. I'm like, all right, thank you, you know. Like, I always say, people, tell people thank you when I get out of their car, because thank you for getting me here safely. Much appreciated. And, um, I'm getting out, I'm like, all right, thank you, um whatever i'm opening the door I'm, and i'm getting out grab my bag you know getting out he was like um yeah i hope i see you again i hope i get you again with your fine a let me quote him directly he was like yeah i hope i see you again when you leave in here i hope i get you again with your fine ass the woman was too stunned to speak no you didn't say that you didn't mean that. Oh, get out of here! Like, like no, no. And my job, my plan was because I was going to the hair store that was up the street, and I have a had a list of three to four things that I need to get. I know exactly where to go to get them. Cause if I don't make no list, I'll be in the again. It's just you know how we do. So I'm like, okay, I got a list. I know that's what I'm going in here for. I'm going to be in and out. I'm going to go ahead and go in. As soon as I go in, I'm going to get another lift. That way, it's going to take them like three minutes to get here. I'm already going to be done checked out. So I'm just getting boop, boop, boop. And I'm going to be back out, right? I don't have to wait. Y'all, when he said he hope he get me, he get me again. It's like I went in and he just sat there for like an additional 30 seconds. You going to wait? You can't wait to see if I get another lift to, to get me again. Mind y'all, he already saw me come out of my place. So now I'm like slick paranoid like throughout the day. Like, what if he just comes back? Like, because professionalism is not even in his range, in his spectrum at this point. Because you don't say nothing like that. Nobody can be in professional. You know what I mean? So it's like, we're past that point. Right? Okay, cool. Um, Nothing else happened with that. But um, let's get into story number three, the one that drew you guys in, the racist. During Black History Month, it's crazy. Okay, so this story is obviously about a racist white man. Could have been a racist woman, but it's a racist man. Um, cis white male, you know how they be. Um, and basically, the reason I was catching this lift was because I was leaving school really late. So the way that the buses run, like at my school, they stop running after a certain time. And um, at this time that they had stopped running, they didn't even run like to the place close to my house like at all. I didn't come to school at all, basically. It's like the reason I was leaving school late was because I had retreat on campus, which is like basically it was an all day event from like, not literally all day, but we had been there from 4 p.m. And we didn't leave until like 10.30. Cool, cool. So I'm catching a lift because I can't catch the bus. Right, right. So um, the man comes to pick me up from school. And I get in and like, hey, how are you? You know, how's it going? Whatever. He's asking me, you know, how are you doing? And that was just fine. Like, you know, regular regular conversation, nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary. So, um, as we're riding, he's just talking to me. Um, I can't remember initially what we were talking about, but the main point of the conversation that I remember is basically, he was basically telling me like, he had friends from all walks of life. He loves all people. And when he said that, I already knew it was gonna be some bullshit. And let me tell you why. Because anybody that has to announce that they love all people before they... But, if you say I love all people, but... You either homophobic, racist, or both. You can't convince me any anything different. 
Because why you have to announce that you love all people, first of all, in the first place? If I could just, I could just listen to you talk whatever about whatever you're about to talk about if it's pertaining to a marginalized group. And I don't know if you love all people or not. You don't got to announce whether you do or you don't. God damn it. You have to do that. But the fact that you said, I love all people. I knew it was going to be some bullshit, especially coming from, you know, one of those. So... Um, he was like, you know, I love people basically. That's like the gist of what he was saying. Like, I love all people, black, white, Asian, Muslim, Christian, Catholic, Mormon, atheist. Like, you know, he's going down the list basically, right? He's like, he got friends that are this, he got friends that are that. Okay, cool, right? Now let's get into what the racism really like started showing his ass. So, um, what happened? So, okay, so originally he was telling me like, yeah, I have a friend who's this, I have a friend who's that. Then he was like, I'm a guy that, you know, I'm not judgmental. I don't judge people. And I'm like, you know, like, I understand that, you know, I think I'm, I like to think I'm that kind of person too. Like, I'm not judgmental at all. Like, I don't judge people. Like, you know, it's just not my thing. Like, you know, I just take people for who they are and, you know, whatever, right? Engaging in conversation because like, you know, at first it was okay. Um, So... Then he's like, yeah, um, and you know, start talking about politics, basically, like Republicans, Democrats, whatever, woo, woo, woo. and you know, once again, you're supposed to talk about that shit on your job, but you know, people do what they want when they call. So he was like, yeah, um, even when it comes to politics, like I don't consider myself to be a Democrat or Republican because, you know, I feel like there's bad on both sides. And I'm like, you know, I see what you're saying. Like, you know, there's bad in everything, good and bad in everything, whatever. Like, okay, cool. Like, I don't know what the fuck you told me that for, but you know, cool means you don't belong to no group. Merry Christmas. Like, what you want me to say, right? So, um, then he goes on to be like, um, yeah, and actually, you know that Martin Luther King on Black History Month, y'all on black history month martin luther king got nerve to utter this man's name and say martin luther king was actually a republican and the were democrats i don't know if i can say that on hill i can demonetize but the blue bloods win baby that's what he was referring to he was like they were democrats so now i'm just like Did you just call me a nigger? Like, did you just call me a nigger, sir? What's going on here? Like, why Why the KKK talk? Hmm? Hmm? Like, where did that come from? My dog, we went from, how was your day? Good day. The weather was nice to the, and Martin Luther King, he had a dream. Like, very strange turn of events. So now I'm just like, I'm already peeping the temperature. I was already peeping it a little bit, y'all. But, like, once he said that, I'm already on high alert. Like, I'm looking at the map. Like, can we go any faster? Please. Like, please get me out of here. Um. So, I'm just like, oh, I didn't know that. Like, the fuck do you want me to say? Like, oh, I'm definitely going to be this now. I'm definitely going to be that now. I'm definitely not this. I'm definitely not that. I'm Like, what did you want me to say, sir? Like... Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm just like, oh, I didn't know that. Go back to my phone because now I'm already knowing what type of time you want. And I'm just not fucking with it at all. Not in the least bit. So he continues to talk. He continues on. He's like, um, yeah. And um, Trump actually did the most for, you know, blacks. First of all, don't you ever in your white life utter the word blacks with an S on the end. Mm, you hear me? If you're watching this, don't say that. You just don't say that. It's too close to colors, baby. You don't say that. Black people. Black people. Blacks? No. Black people, yes. Or just don't have us in your mouth at all. It's that simple. You don't got to talk about us. You ain't got to talk about us. We don't bother nobody. But, like, now I'm like... You just call me in here, like, again? Like, you want to keep, like, 
this is a prank. Like, this is the sick joke. So, he keeps going with the, you know, the woody woody woo talk. And I'm just like, okay, the like, he's like, you know, Trump actually did the most for black people. He helped with the prison reform and he got this much and that much of black people out of prison or kept them out of prison or whatever he was saying. And, you know, so if he was racist, he would have did that. If he was racist, he would have did that. So now my intelligence self, I'm like, oh, like I didn't know that either. Because if I call you a puss ass you gonna try to do something to me star i'm already knowing what time you want so i'm just like i didn't know that i just want to get home safe right i just want to get home safe i'm about 130 soaking wet i'm not about to fight your, your your big white cis male ass i'm not doing that i'm not even gonna sit here and act like i can whoop your ass so I'm just like, oh, I didn't know that. But keep in mind, just because this man did all this stuff don't mean he not racist. He was in it for the money. He was in it for the politics. He needed an audience. So he could have did a couple of things that he just didn't want to do that was just best for his, you know, campaign. Which I'm in my head, I'm just like, put all this stuff together. But like, you know, who gives a fuck, right? Like, that's not important right now. The important thing is, you need to get home. We don't have a point to prove to nobody right now. Like, that's not the time. It's time, place, for everything. That was not the time or the place. So, um, I'm thinking, like, that's going to be the end of it. We're going to hit it with the Trump talk. I'm thinking about to end it off with Make America Great Again and just, you know, drop me the fuck off. But, y'all, this man keeps going, and you will never guess who he brought up next. How much you guess? Go. Three seconds. Kyle, Rick, Kyle, whatever the fuck his name is. Old boy. Yeah. He brings him up and he says, yeah, and that's the thing. I don't even want to say that motherfucking name. Like, I don't even want to say his motherfucking name. He was like, yeah, that um kid got off. Y'all, I'm going to call him some disrespectful shit, but like... I'm already knowing. Um, he's like, that kid got off because he should have got off. Like, that was the right thing to do. The only, only, he said only, y'all. The only thing he did wrong was have a semi-automatic weapon. The only thing he did wrong was carry a semi-automatic weapon. The only reason he shot those people. I can't even, I don't even want to say that. The only reason he, those people, was because they were chasing him with. And it was on tape. That's why he got off. That's why he got off. So I'm just like, okay. <laughs> that's how you feel. Like, you know, that's how you feel. Ain't nothing I say gonna change your motherfucking mind. Especially not right now. Lover of all people. So my best bet is to just be like, you know, let me just make it home safe and talk my sh later. You know, right? Okay, cool. So I'm like, this not to get too political or anything. But if you're ignorant as like old boy was who drove me home, Mr. Racist, you might want to click off now, baby. Because I told my mom about this and she was like, um, maybe you wasn't racist or whatever. And I'm like, it's getting racist. Now let me tell you why. I could just I could just said he was ignorant. Because he very much was ignorant. He's very ignorant. I'm sure he's still ignorant to this day where he is. However, the simple fact that I got my black ass in his car. And he felt the need to try to push his beliefs on me. My job, we were in the car talking about hair it is going. He started talking about that stuff. And it was just like a, oh, just throwing this out there. It was like a, don't you agree? Like, you you feel the same, right? Because when he was saying, like, oh, I don't judge people. I'm like, oh, you know, like, I feel the same. Well, like, I'm not judging. He was, he, like, took that and ran with it. So once he started talking about the political stuff and whatnot, he was like, yeah, don't you agree? Like, yeah, you feel the same, right? Like, like you agree with me, though. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, that was how he was doing it. Like, it wasn't just like a little, like, 
just throwing this out here, catch it or don't catch it. So now I'm just like, what the f like it was giving because like if y'all know what microaggressions are, then you know why that sh was like he was racist, right? Okay, cool. We all get it. So um, if you don't do your own research, baby, this ain't school. Um, so I'm just like the fact you could even sit yo yo white ass your privileged ass up here in my black ass face and black history book and so pan tell me that the only thing he did wrong was carry a semi-yardic weapon black people can't only get a, a ticket can't only be asleep in a house how is that constitutional to you how was that okay to you the only thing he did was have a semi-yardic weapon because two people that just ain't that just ain't a crown no more Give me the fuck about this car, right? That's, that's how I'm at. I'm like, give me the fuck about this car. Like, in my head, I'm like, I should have, like, let me out now. Like, let me out. Like, I'll walk the rest of the way. Like, let me out now, basically, right? That's, like, my attitude. But I'm just like, okay, I'm almost home. Mind y'all, from my school to my house, it's, like, three, four miles, right? You would think that means, like, around 10 minutes max. In my head, it's, like, a mile a minute, Maybe two miles, I mean, two minutes a mile. So if it's four miles, like eight minutes. So we'll say 10, 15 minutes, y'all. 15 minutes with the the city and roads and all that. 15 minutes, 15 minutes. So it's like, that don't sound like a long time. Like, girl, it's just 15 minutes. But like, 15 minutes of that, like, so yeah, that was my African-American experience with um those interesting people mm -hmm. if i wasn't getting a car before i'm definitely getting a car now because no like i don't know how much more this i could take you know what i mean like and i've had a couple of other experiences that i didn't put in here but um that pretty much wraps up everything if i could you know think of it if y'all have ever been debating with this kind of ride share service going wrong if anything has happened to any of you guys i'm so so sorry if you have not already been compensated maybe you won't be compensated get a car that's that learn how to drive that's that but yeah thank y'all so much for watching my video for tuning in if you're loyal you keep coming back and back and back and back and back again like you always do you know i rock with you you know i love you if you new here make sure you like comment share and subscribe make sure you loyal more to do too and um i'm about to sneeze <laughs>